Okay, so we're going to try and prove that n to the 4 plus 4 is a composite number for all n greater than 1. So how are we going to go about doing that? So let's have a look at the term here, n to the 4 plus 4. And let's see if we can break that down a little bit. So let's write that on here, n to the 4 plus 4. Now, for all n greater than 1. So why can't we put 1 in there? So for n equals 1, 1 to the power of 4 plus 4, that means we got 5. That means we get 5. So we know that this is a prime number. So that's in the set of prime numbers. I'm just going to call PR for prime number. OK, so what about 2? n equals 2. 2 to the power of 4 is 4 squared, which is 16, plus 4 is 20. So that yields us 20. And we know that that is not a prime number. So 20, no good to us. n equals 3. Let's have a look at that, the first odd number. So 3 squared is 9. Square that again is 81, plus 4, 85. And same again, that is also not a prime number. Okay, now we can't go all the way down the list for every number, we'll be there for eternity. So why don't we use the uh, traditional way of saying an, an even number. So if n is even, we'll call it 2k. So 2k is our n. So 2k equals n, where k is an integer. So we substitute 2k into this. So then we get 2k to the power of 4 plus 4. OK, let's have a look what that's going to give us. So that's then going to give us 2k to the power of 4 is going to give us 16k to the power of 4 plus 4. Now, if k is an integer, this is always going to be an even number. So this will always be even. So we know that this is not a prime number. So not prime. Let's just write that there, just as our little scratch work. So let's have a look at now if n is odd. So then we get 2k plus 1 equals n in this case. So again, k is in the integers. So now we substitute 2k plus 1 into this. So now we've got 2k plus 1 to the power of 4 plus 4. Let's go about to see if we can work out what this is going to be. So if we do 2k plus 1 squared, 2k plus 1 squared plus 4. We can square these terms out and let's see what we get. So then we get 2k plus 1 squared will give us 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 twice. And then add 4. OK, so this term here is not going to be helpful at all. Let's don't miss off the 1 there. So here we're going to be left here with an odd number. This is going to be another odd number because we've got k could be 1, for example. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is going to give us 9. So two odd numbers. So we've got odd times odd plus 4. So the answer is going to give us an odd number. So there's a chance it could be prime, but this is not telling us anything. So let's go back to look at this. n to the power of 4 plus 4. Now that's a little bit like, if we're trying to find, take the square, we've got n squared plus 2, and then each term squared. But if we do that, we've got n squared plus 2 squared, that's going to give us n to the 4 plus 4n squared plus 4. So if you fall that out, that's what we'll get to. But now we've changed our term here. 
So n to the 4 plus 4, so we've got this and we've got this, but now we've gained this. So what can we do? Well, easiest thing to do, let's just subtract it off. And now we've got the same value as this. So this equals n to the 4 plus 4. Okay, so now what can we do? Well, we've got these terms here make this term here. So we've got n squared plus 2. I'm just going to write that here, if you don't mind. So n squared and then plus 2. Now here we've got minus 4n squared. Now I think there's something we can do with that. There's a square root of 4n squared. That equals 2n. Now that would be helpful. So if we look here, n squared plus 2 squared, that's what we've got here. And then we need to subtract this to see if we can get the same as n to the 4 plus 4. Okay. So we've got 2n here, and we could put a 2n in here. So we could have a look at that. So minus 4n squared. So we could do minus 2n. Now when foiling out, so when we can foil it out, we've got a minus and a plus. The two terms disappear when we're foiling. So then that would give us plus 2n. Now I'm saying that this is going to still equal n to the 4 plus 4. So I'm just going to fold that out quick. So n squared, distribute that with all these. So this one will go with these two. So then we'll get n to the 4 plus 2n cubed plus 2n squared. Now this one, all of these terms. So then we'll get minus 2n cubed minus 4n squared minus 4n minus 2n times plus 2 that's minus 4n and now we distribute the 2 so we get plus 2n squared plus 2 with the 2n that's 4n and 2 with 2 that's plus 4 okay we are looking for this term here out of all of this so the n to the 4, that's good, and the plus 4, that's good. So let's have a look to see what we can do here, see if there's some cancellations. Well, n cubed, we've got a plus 2 and a minus 2. They cancel out. We've got a plus 4n and a minus 4n. They cancel out. And a plus 2n squared, plus 2n squared, and a minus 4n squared. Add them all up, we get a 0. So we've shown that this is equal to this. So I'm just going to write that down here now. n squared minus 2n plus 2. Multiply by n squared plus 2n plus 2. That equals n to the 4 plus 4. Okay, so now by the fundamental rule of arithmetic, where any composite number has two distinct factors other than... Uh, one and itself unless it's square. So these two are going to yield different values and they also equal n to the 4 plus 4. So by the fundamental rule of arithmetic we can say that this always yields a composite number because these two will be different. So now let's just try it for n equals 1. So for n equals 1 We've got 1 squared, which is 1, minus 2, plus 2, so that's 1. 1 plus 2 plus 2, that's going to give us 5. So 1 times 5, that gives us 5, which is what we wanted here. But you can see now the factors of this are 1 and 5. So therefore, we know that that is a prime number. So this is prime. Now let's try another random number. Let's try the number three, because we've already checked that one out. So three squared. Three squared is nine. 
minus two threes is six. That's let's just write these down in here, be easier. Minus six plus two. So that then gives us five. And then again here, we've got nine plus six plus two. So that would give us 17, which yields us 85, which is composite number. So therefore we can see now that this is to prove, the way we can prove that n to the four plus four is a composite number by using this formula here. So I'm gonna write this down here n squared plus 2n plus 2, n squared minus 2n plus 2. So by this translation of our n to the 4 plus 4, we can say that this is always a composite number for all n greater than 1.